guys, Larissa with Because is here. Today I will show you how to rib knitting with uh, your hands. So we will be doing it with this beautiful silver three pound uh, merino wool. And this is will be hand knitting and we will be using ribbon stitch. So uh, the blanket that we will be making will be 30 by 50. It's a small throw and it's pretty good if you're watching TV and you want uh, something to color yourself. Or it can be actually on the feet of your uh, bed, queen or full. For king size it will be a little bit bigger. So again, it will be 3 pounds of super chunky merino wool and the blanket will be 30 by 50 ribbon stitch. Let's do it! Okay, let's get started. As usual, we will start with a casting on and first it will be our loop and slip knot. It's also called, so that's what we're doing. This is the tail, this is the working yarn. We're making the loop, inserting your hand, grabbing working yarn and pull it through. This is your first stitch and now we will cast on and for the uh, how to calculate how many stitches you need. A lot of people are asking me how to do it. So we will have a blanket 30 by 50. So what, what we are doing, we're taking our calculator and we are uh, entering the number of stitches to start. We need 30 uh, inches and 30 divided by and then you need to measure the width of your yarn. So here is the, our yarn is pretty thick here. We will measure it and you will see that this yarn is two and a half inches. So 30 we divide by 2.5 and this is the number of stitches we will need, 12. So this is, this is how you need to calculate how many stitches you will need. So this is our first stitch, insert hand, grab working yarn, pull it through. We have two and this way we will be doing 12 more times to have 12 stitches. Three, four, and as usual, the yarn should be unwound and laying here in the pile to have an easy access. And we are making this beautiful chain for our first roll. Okay, so one more time, all stitches are being cast on the same way. You insert in your hand, grabbing working yarn pull it through and we will be doing it 12 times and actually this beautiful chain can be used as a scarf too. You see it's pretty thick and beautiful so if you want to do it uh, take one pound of yarn and make this beautiful chain and it will be your long chain scarf. So Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12 stitches here, and now we will start our first row. Our first row, we will insert now right hand, grab working yarn, and pull it out. And this time, working yarn will go to the left. Unlike when we were casting on, it was to the right from us. And then when we have our first stitch of the second row, then we're looking for this hole in a stitch and we're not going to the top, we're going to the down one, on the bottom one. Insert your right hand, grab working yarn and pull it out. And then doing the, sa the same to the next stitch. To the bottom of the stitch, not to the top, grab working yarn, pull it out. And this way we are hand knitting our first row, all 12 stitches. So here we are, we have our second row. The first row, remember, was the chain. 
and this is our second row we're just hand knitting it uh, basically all knitting stitches and now we will start doing the ribbon stitch and uh, ribbon knitting it's one knit one purl and uh, ribbon uh, stitch ribbon knitting can actually be different you can do two knit and two purl but today we will be doing one knit one purl so what you're doing this is our first stitch insert your left hand grab working yarn pull it out this is your knitting stitch now the next one will be purling for purling you insert this working yarn is not on the back it goes on the front and you are inserting it and pulling it out from up from up front okay so let's do it again the first one we're just knitting the working yarn on the back insert your hand grab working yarn pull it out then working yarn goes on the front of the second stitch and then you're basically inserting it grabbing it with your left hand and pulling it out this is your purl and next one will be again knit stitch so working yarn going in the back grab working yarn and pull it out next one purl again so working yarn goes here and you're basically inserting it inside the stitch and pull it out with your left hand next knit and purl and this way we will be doing it for all 12 stitches so you can see that working yarn goes back and forth when we're knitting it going on the back of the stitch when we're purling it goes up front of the stitch and then you're just inserting and taking it out then it goes back and then again you are alternating knitting and purling so some of you are, were asking me how to do this uh, purling stitch so this is how we do it one more time the working yarn goes on the uh, front you are inserting it in the stitch and taking it out and this is your purling you can see the difference this is knitting this is purling and when you have a blanket actually it will look really beautiful with this pattern okay our next row we are just looking so you need to remember how neat looks and how pearl looks so pearl looks like a little bump or a knot and neat uh, stitch looks like a little chain see so now you need to be careful when you're knitting next row because you will be doing the same stitch as the previous one so if this one is pearl you see this little bump and this one is neat you need to do the same this one need to be pearl so for pearl working yarn going in front up front and you're inserting it inside the stitch and take it out pull it through for knitting stitch working yarn going on the back your hand goes inside grabbing working yarn and pull it out and again it's easy to see because when it's a uh, knitting row you can see this beautiful chain and for purling it will be this one with little bumps so again so you see this is a bump so you're doing your purl and for the knitting stitch you are doing knitting this is a purl so take your time and the more rows you have the easier it will be uh, seen what uh what is pearl what is knitting okay so this is what we have for now okay so here we have a couple rows done you can see this ribbon stitch is uh looking beautiful already and one thing that i would like to remind you the first row if this is a, a knitting stitch you are not knitting it when you start the row okay so you see this is a knitting stitch and you are skipping knitting and you go directly to the purl and we're doing it on every uh, first row we're keeping it we're skipping knitting it so we're just 
going through the row pearl knit pearl knit pearl knit and here you can see that the last one is pearl so we are purling it and you can see that on the side it's a beautiful chain that's why we are actually skipping the first uh, stitch as I said it doesn't matter what side this side or left side we're skipping the first one and we're going directly to knitting the second one okay guys so we have 14 rows and uh, this beautiful blanket you see it's a ribbon stitch it looks really beautiful on a super chunky merino wool and now I will show you how to cast off so what you're doing uh, we uh, having here about two yards of wool left to finish so what you're doing you're grabbing first of all working yarn goes on the back and then you're grabbing two stitches in one like that you're inserting your hand in two stitches and then grabbing working yarn with two fingers pull it through both now you have one stitch left. What are you doing? Working yarn on the back. This one stays on your hand and you're adding another one. You have two. Grab working yarn, pull it through. This is how you're casting off. Again, insert your hand in a stitch. Add another stitch from knitting. You have two on your hand. And grab working yarn, pull it through both stitches. You have this beautiful chain of casting off again two stitches grab working yarn pull it through two stitches pull it through and we will do it for all stitches don't miss any stitches so one two grab working yarn pull it through one two and we're almost done here we have this beautiful ribbon pattern okay i don't have actually enough to finish it because i didn't leave enough but so uh if something like that happened with you that you have uh cast off all the stitches and you have one left what you can do you can actually cheat a little bit and insert this little tail inside the last stitch and then just hide it between stitches like that so that's it you finished and you have this beautiful ribbon pattern you can buy such yarn at our store Becauzy.net or on Etsy, uh, uh, BecauzyEtsy.com. If you have any questions, please uh, write a comment under the video. I usually respond within 24 hours. Or you can uh, email me at info at Becauzy.net. Okay, guys, so we're done with our blanket. And here it is. I would like you to uh, pay attention to the size. This blanket is 30 by 50. This is not a big blanket. It's a small blanket. I'm hiding a uh, tail here. It's a ribbon stitch, ribbon pattern, and this is the size of this blanket. So this is 30 by 50. Pay attention. I have a video with uh, sizes of the blanket where I'm showing the sizes before ordering yarn or a blanket. Uh, make a decision what size you need. Uh, thank you for watching my video and stay warm and be cozy. Thank you.